Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Rashida and welcome to 40 to Happy. I know I look like I'm going to the market or something like that, but I am actually on my way to work. And yeah, I got my scarf on. If you're new, I often have on the scarf in the morning because I've been trying to keep my hair down. Yo, what up? <laughs> it's the end of the day. 4.37, I'm on my way to school. How are you doing? It's Tuesday, so it's a school day. You know how that be. Wow, she speaks so intelligently. <laughs> I'm being a fool right now. Okay, right, so I'm at the light. This light is very long. Y'all see, I don't have on any lashes. I didn't even have on earrings today. I just put these on because I found them in my pocket. But I'm headed to school and it is very nice out here. I was saying before my camera just toppled over. Um, I'm not really hungry, but I feel like by the time I get to school, which is probably going to be like 530, I'm going to be hungry. So I want to get a salad from the cafeteria. And um, yeah, so my hair is a mess. I had to sit at work with my hair looking a mess all day. And it's, it is what it is. Little light jacket. I got my hoodie on under this. I'm very comfortable. This is how I like to dress. I like to dress very casual and comfortable. I meant to tell you... <clears throat> I meant to say that this morning. So I work in a department where I do not have to dress up. Um, before when I was a manager, I had to wear, you know, business casual. And this is kind of business casual too, except it's not. So it's kind of like, it's physical therapy and it's like a sporty department. So you, you can wear um, like a t-shirt with the logo. Um, we can't wear leggings, we can't wear sweatpants, but we can wear you know casual pants and that's what I do so I'm always cold so I have a long sleeve shirt on under my t-shirt every day with the logo on it which is why yeah <laughs> this week's content is gonna be out of control like it's last week's content mixed with this week's content which is the endocrine system diabetes hypothyroid hypoparathyroidism all that okay and it's a lot So today is went um no today's Thursday. Today we had the last of our reviews for our two exams. One exam next week that's diabetes and endocrine and then the following week we have our farm exam on the medications for endocrine and diabetes. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my weight loss journey. So as you can see I'm trying to put in at least 30 minutes. I haven't dedicated a day i'm still working on being consistent but the one thing i have been consistent with is fasting and i'm happy and proud of myself for that so you have to give yourself some leeway um i've been snacking in between but only during my eating windows i'm still like eating junk food which you know it's a gradual small step type of thing um yeah so that's intermittent fasting 16 8 and I'm happy because I got a package in the mail. Oh, it's called Bye Bye Belly. It's a Bye Bye Belly. And this is, I think, the only thing that helped me lose weight back in 2020. So I'm gonna open it and show you what it looks like. This is a slimmer. This is what you have to add to your, like, your gallon of water. It's actually 64 fluid ounces, not a gallon. Um, you add it to the water. I'll show you how I do that. But you add it to the water and you just drink it. How many? I forgot how you do this, but I'll figure it out. For healthy weight management, and it has 30 servings. 
so what you do is get you that you know that crystal geyser water or that water with the plastic handle you get that and you add whatever the um, amount is for it so this is this worked well for me and i have a low metabolism so i feel like if i'm able to lose a little bit of weight you probably can too um it, redu it reduces stress eating lowers cortisol levels maintains your blood sugar decreases appetite promotes a healthy gut um it worked for me like i said i'm gonna try it again i'm excited i'm happy it came in the mail today but i don't have my water so i need to go buy one yes what happened what's the matter mia what you want who did it who did it mimi what you want hello it's the next day and um i just got off of work it's friday afternoon 3 36 um i'm on my way to target because i ordered some stuff while i was on my lunch break so i'm gonna go pick those items up and then i'm gonna go oh wait yeah and then i'm gonna go to the beauty supply because i want to put a quick weave in my hair i know you're like girl you just cut your hair and i love my pixie cut i love it i'm tired of having to mold it i've been doing that like every three days and i'm tired of it so i need a break and i'm gonna go try and put a um what i said i'm gonna try and do a quick weave just a normal quick weave maybe a bob i'm gonna try that and we'll see how that works Like I was saying, I'm trying to do a quick weave because I just can't be bothered. And this is human hair. I don't want to deal with the pixie cut right now because I'm tired of molding it. So I'm going to try to put these two packs in a little cute little style. Let's see how that works out. Yeah. Good morning. It's the next day. Today is Saturday the 18th. I'm on my way into clinicals. Let me put my brake on. I just pulled up um just wanted to talk to you for a couple of minutes before i go in um and i wanted to show y'all my hair okay i'm bobbing okay y'all like the hair <laughs> myself i was gonna record last night the process and make a whole separate video but i didn't have time to do that um i have a test i was studying and i was like let me just get my hair done so yes i put in a quick weave and it's a little bob and hopefully i covered up my um my short hair I, I did better than i thought i would and it's actually kind of too long it's it's a nice length but i wanted it to be like right here so i don't know i might leave it i might have my girl cut it for me but um yeah so today's clinical i love my hair i had to change it i was tired of the short hair and i knew that when i cut my hair I was like, Rashida, you know that you like to have a new hairstyle every other week. and But I, I held on. I cut my hair in October, and it is now February. So that's October, November, December, January, February. So that's four months I went without doing anything else to my hair. It was time. And I love it. It's very chic, and, you know, I love it. <laughs> what's up it's sunday it's post clinical i just got home from clinical <clears throat> had to stop by the dd and get me an iced coffee haven't had this in a very long time so i am allowed to drink it since it's my eating window and i did get whipped cream because why not um so y'all see my hair holding up period 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 so seriously, I have some work to complete um, that I need to hand in for my clinical assignment. So I'm going to do that now. Today I got to observe the charge nurse. And in that, I got to be the charge nurse. So um, my instructor just had me um, just make sure that the other student nurses were 
putting in their eyes and nose, documenting baths, you know, morning AM care, simple stuff like that, and reassessing pain. So I got to be in charge of doing that. That was fun. Clinical was interesting today and we don't have a clinical next weekend. I love when we have a break. I really do. I mean, wait a minute. Do we have a clinical next weekend? So my next clinical is March 3rd and 4th and on the 3rd we have Sims Day. I'm really, really nervous about Sims Day because we are working on actors who are acting as patients and we have two um, situations that we could get picked for. One is blood transfusion, second is a chronic, um, chronic heart failure patient, so a lot of fluid edema stuff like that blood transfusion is you know making sure that you have the right patient right blood right blood type all that good stuff i don't like when people watch me i feel very intimidated i hope you're having an awesome sunday and i'm happy that you're here don't forget to subscribe and comment down in the comment section talk to me because i do talk back to you and i would love to get dialogue going on about your um experience being 40 plus what you plan on doing this year that you didn't do last year let me know let's talk about it okay